Hey, good day everyone. This is Wally with Reloading Systems, Ugly Bowl Company. We're going to go over a feeder bowl today. So on a feeder bowl, you got a, you know, raw start. Let's say you want to use a used one. You cut the old rails off and then put the new rails and everything on. This is my proprietary plate cut for this 20 inch uh, feeder bowl. And also we have our kickers with our company logo on it. So that's basically how this bowl set up. And currently I have 22 bowls in the rough. What I mean by that, I set them up, I get them running, and I don't fully tune them. And this is going to black dot ammunitions, and we're just trying to tweak everything up for them to work as best as possible. So if you wanted to try to tackle something like this, I do sell a kit that'll be everything you need to, uh, put on your bowl we have everything from 12 inches all the way up to 42 inch rings um, okay on this particular bowl I'm going to show you a few things so I got the kickers removed and the reason I got the kickers removed I want to see the brass how it's going you see how we got a case on top of the cases that is caused by too much brass in the hopper that'll allow the brass I'm going to turn it on it'll get a little noisy As that brass is coming around when there's too much, it's piling. And you can't use a kicker. I, on my, some big bowls, I use air to blow these off. But if that was a 38 special, you can't have a mechanical kicker. It would knock it off 38, 357. Air you can do it with, but that's a whole nother animal. So basically, you want this hopper fed. And this bowl here likes to see the bottom a little bit. So we're gonna take some of this brass out and then I'll run it and show you. All right, I removed uh, two, gallon, two gallons of brass. There's probably five gallon bucket in this bowl. So you don't wanna have it too full. And when you run the bowl, I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna show you erratic and not erratic. Now this bowl, you see how now we're starting to come, everything's standing up. Right here, where the cases are, if they're laying down, you see how they can drop right out? That returns to bowl. This little kicker right here allows the case not to hit the rail on an angle like that. What it'll do, if it's leaning over, it'll stand the case up. And this just allows for nice steady flow Again, I'm going to turn it on. It gets noisy. Right there you notice I turned it up and I tried to show the rail the cases were jumping all over you don't want that here's what you want so you want a nice steady moving towards the kickers but you don't want it erratic So right there, that amount of brass, then we put a dip switch in there to control that height. So that right there is a good setup. I'm going to end the video here, and then I'm going to put the kickers on. It's going to be a multiple step on the feeder bowl.